Oh, how do I do it? I'm just so smart. I'm actually very concerned that I'm going to beat this game before the hour is up. <laughs> it was very expensive. <laughs> It was very expensive. <laughs> Thanks for struggling with the back pain to hang out with us for a little tonight, Empty Stone Lightning. <laughs> Thank you, Maniator, for the $15 reduce. I can't see it, but I think that puts us over the edge for the uh, Dreadout 2 goal. So after Resident Evil 3 next week, we will then have a Dreadout 2 stream. I also let the, uh, the uh, special boys on the Patreon vote for a Zelda game, so it looks like after those two, we will be streaming a little game called Majora's Mask. But uh, don't quote me on that because the votes could change. And yeah, my back fucking hurts, dude. <laughs> I, I do tech support for a, a car parts manufacturer, and sometimes I have to go down to where the, the parts are, are processed and made. And we hired this new girl, this fucking Jewish woman, and you know, there's nothing wrong with her being Jewish, but I'm just gonna mention it because she's she's one of those people who, um... You know like how ethnic stereotyping is wrong and racist and you should never do it? You should never do it, my friend? She's one of those people that makes you go, oh, that's why we have this stereotype. Because people like this exist. And she kept coming to my fucking station and going, Oh, could you? Uh, I, I want to skip in line and I need my stuff done first. And I want to complain about this other guy because he's a bigot and he he didn't do a, a special thing for me. And then at one point during all of her kvetching over the whole night, and I did recommend she get fired after this because she fucking sucks. Uh, she hands me a, a, a big thing of car parts that easily weighed 200 pounds, right? But she didn't tell me it weighed 200 pounds. She slid it off the corner of her metal desk and said, Hey, could you take this? And I had both of my hands out. And instead of sliding it into both of my hands, this fucking bitch slides it into my right hand and pushes my arm to the right so that all the weight goes onto my right hand at the same time. And I damn near ripped her fucking head off and shit down her throat. However, that sort of thing is frowned upon at work. So I just told her she's a moron and to just hope and pray that I don't get her fired for doing that. Because she fucked me up. My, my shit's all messed up and hurting. And now I'm the one kvetching. <laughs> Funny how that turned out. I have two moves. And I can't possibly finish this in two moves, so let's start over. I got distracted. I'm sorry, guys. I should pay more attention to my special little boils and goils. And give you all the little kisses that It was heard. very expensive. <laughs> hey, it's me, Zeb. I'm a bird boy now. I like to have Tyrone fly his BBC into my butthole. If you join my Discord, I will ban you. <laughs> Thank you, Super Senpai Ass Eater, aka Cuddly Zeb. Hey, guys, I got like a really angry message from Zeb on Discord, I think, last night. I No, it was, it was the night before. I got out of work. After after getting my back all fucked up, and uh, the first thing I hear is is uh, Zeb going, you, "You fucking guys on your Discord, they fucking made fun of me, and they came on my Discord, and they fucking called me a butthead, and uh, I could get your Discord banned for that. You can't do that because I'm a furry, and you can't make fun of furries, even though I'm the one who always organized raids on Discord uh, for furries." And then he mass reported everybody who came onto his Discord and tried to get them banned. And uh, he banned me and Derek. And I was like, oh, great. I don't have to be on that stupid fucking Discord anymore. <laughs> Thank God. Who gives a shit? <laughs> that Discord's fucking gay. <laughs> I don't care. But uh, all the guys he reported got banned. So if you got banned from Discord in general and you need a new account, let me know. I'll try to give you your old rank back. You know, I'll, I'll do you a favor. It's not quite fun. I know. I've lost accounts myself. Is he from Internet Blood Sports? No, Zeb was a. Uh, I still like Zeb, by the way. Before I make fun of him too much, uh, he was a, a viewer. One day, I let viewers call in just to uh, to see what they would have to say, 
And I recognized his voice because he had copied my, um... My Manly Tears song, he copied it on SoundCloud, and I was like, I recognize that voice, you're that fucking goofball. Who, uh, in fact, let me pull it up. Not only did he do that, but he had this really unfunny thing after he copied my song where he was like, I'm an old man and this is what I said. Dog, thought it was a boat or something! Quickly! A spinning bird whizzed right at him! My swollen prostate deflated from me being upside down for so long that my jungle turned into a firehouse of free! Okay, you get the idea, that just goes on and on and on. And by the way, if you want to piss him off, just bring that up. Because <laughs> he hates when people bring that up because it's so unfunny. Oh my god, does he fucking suck at being funny. Why does he try so hard? Oh, I messed up. Okay, so I recognized that. I was like, I know this guy. He's okay. I'll let him on the stream for a while. Whatever. And I maybe I shouldn't have. Whatever. I, I know you guys never liked him. But part of the reason I kept him on was that you guys hated Zeb so much that it was... Personally, it was really funny to me. 